In the last two modules, we talked about connections across markets and how those connections give rise to the law of one price and how compensating differentials can interfere with the law of one price. And as we were doing that, we found ourselves shifting demand and supply across markets. We started with trade in goods, the trade of corn between Iowa and North Carolina, or the trade of natural gas between the US and Europe. And in those cases, we found that demand shifted in the region where people bought goods in order to ship them to the other region. And when they then sold those goods in the other region, supply shifted in that region. So we had a case where demand shifted in one market and supply shifted in the other. Then we talked about related labor markets, the market for math teachers and actuaries. And the critical thing there was that actuaries could become teachers and teachers could become actuaries. So labor could move across the two markets. Labor is supplied by household. So the supply curve of labor ends up shifting as labor shifts between the two markets. When actuaries became teachers, the supply of actuaries shifted to the left. And as they became teachers, the supply of teachers shifted to the right. So now we had a case where the supply curves in both markets shifted, but in opposite directions. So students often ask, how do we know which curve to shift? And the answer is it depends on the nature of the connections between the markets. Let me give you one final example and then another example to think about before the quiz. Suppose we consider the market for remote customer support workers. These are workers who answer the phone of customers to help them. Now, we could imagine two markets, one in the US and one in India. And if those markets are entirely disconnected, the wage in the US will be higher than the equilibrium wage in India. That's exactly the world we found ourselves in when international calls were too expensive for anyone to think that you could hire someone in India to answer the phone for a customer in the US. But then international phone calls came down in price. And so as they came down in price, it became possible to hire workers in India to answer phones for customers in the US. So what shifted in these graphs as a result of international phone calls becoming cheaper? Is it the supply curves? Well, the supply curves are the supply of labor offered by households in the two countries. Is the supply shifting in India? Are Indian workers shifting to the US? Or are US workers shifting to India? And the answer is no. It's not like the related labor markets of math teachers and actuaries, where teachers or actuaries shift between the two markets. Instead, it's firms who are demanding the services of these workers that are changing locations. The firms are now setting up call centers in India to answer phone calls from US customers. And as they're doing that, they're closing call centers in the US. So that would shift the demand for US remote customer support workers to the left. And it would shift demand in India to the right. That'll put downward pressure on wages in the US and upward pressure on wages in India. And if international calls become equally cheap as domestic calls, and if Indian remote customer so support workers are the same in every way as US customer support workers, we would see the law of one price take hold. We would see this continue until the wages equalized across those two countries. Of course, there could be compensating differentials. Perhaps Indian remote customer support workers are not as effective at certain kinds of calls as US remote customer support workers. But in either case, we find that demand shifts in one direction in the US and in the other direction in India. So now we have the case where demand shifts in both places, but in opposite directions. So finally, let me give you something to think about before you take the quiz. Suppose we think about agricultural workers.
in two different markets, in the US and in Mexico. And begin by considering those markets entirely disconnected, where the wage of an agricultural worker in the US will be higher in equilibrium than in Mexico. Then imagine the border opens and we allow migration of labor. What's going to shift in the two graphs that you've drawn? Is the demand curve going to shift? Is it the supply curve going to shift? Which way are they going to shift? And how are you going to see the law of one price emerge? So think about that before the next quiz. And we'll talk more about connections between markets when we get together.